smartwatches, we've got cameras, we've got backup GPS, we've got log books. At the end of the day, the goal here is to set the world record. And the last thing we want to do is have it be on some technicality because we didn't note the time of day that we charged in Mitchell, South Dakota. The team that's actually going to do it, they're all part of the Tesla Supercharging Group. And they're going to set the world record, right? We're going to send them off right at the end to embark on their journey across the country using only the Tesla Supercharger Network and driving across the country for free. Five, four, three, two, We just completed our first leg of the cross country trip and we're in Barstow, California charging. So we're going to go up to 96% state of charge here and then head on to Kingman, Arizona. It's 3,400 miles that we're going from Los Angeles City Hall to New York City Hall. We officially left LA City Hall at 1240 Pacific Standard Time and got here in just over an hour and a half. The team's model that they had come up with ahead of time matched dead on and we ended up with the exact amount of energy that they said we would. So we'll know more after the next couple sections, but it looks like our timeline might match up. Seventy-three the whole way. <laughs> Alright, we gotta do that twenty-three more times. <laughs> bad blizzard starting to culminate in Vail Pass in Colorado, which is along I-70, which is right where our supercharger network is. And they're expecting 30 inches of snow over the next 36 to 48 hours. Unless you're driving, you know, a lifted all-wheel drive truck with huge ribbed nubbed snow tires, 30 inches of snow in that little time, I mean, it can stop anything. So this is a contingency that we it was a possibility, but part of the reason that we went forward with this date is because we, we, we've been monitoring the weather and it was fine. So. There will be snow, the question is how much? Through landing, through Moab, should be fine, no issues. Grand Junction, we're going to start to see a little snow. If anybody at any point in time does not feel comfortable driving, and they are driving, do not hesitate to speak up. With that in mind, the best approach is to try to outrun the darn thing. There's no reason to stop doing what we're doing. Let's just hope for the best. Prepare for the worst, and that's what we've done. We brought all the equipment, so everybody agree? Have any questions, concerns, issues? No, it's it's the right path. All right, then let's get ready to go.
Okay, you stay with. We're in Grand Junction, Colorado. Coming out of uh, Arches, we just had light fog, and then we started getting some precipitation. We saw the temperature drop to 32, uh, and at that point, snow started forming on the windshield, and it just got thicker and thicker. Yeah, that's cool. Definitely. We are going to Glenwood Springs. Hopefully, the highways hold up and stay open, because we know the cars can handle it. Yeah, hopefully, everything goes according to plan.